I try to do anything in art, but I'm crap at math. Where, 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 is that, where does that broad uh, interest in uh, arts come from? Is that something that was always in you? Or I don't know, you? both my parents are quite creative and like encouraged it and also... In what way did they encourage that? Well, like, um, my dad was an like, artist and then a designer and then my mum went to, was a teacher but she like always regretted not going to art school. Um, but she couldn't go because she came from a poor family and she had to go to the courses that were free. Um, so she became a teacher because it was free to do that. Um, I don't know, it was encouraged all through my childhood. I think I wasn't um, very good at... I was quite... I don't know what you call it in Holland, but I was special needs, which means, like, I had learning difficulties. So it took me a long time to learn to read and to do anything with numbers, which I still can't do. But And, like, spelling I'm not very good at and things. But now... But then what happened was I communicated. I was quite good at drawing and stuff from a young age. And I was, like, in the school play from, like, age seven, I was able to remember lines and... I don't know, just weird. Like, I had... I was good at something, very good, and then not good at others. So I guess it was encouraged to sort of, I think, for my confidence, because then I balanced out, you know, I became a good student and all that, but I think my mum encouraged it because she believed that I should feel like I was good at something. Did you worry about that a lot, that you were, weren't able to spell very good, be very good at maths, mm. things like that? Was it, as a kid, did you worry? That yeah, that? I was quite... Shy. I didn't really speak to anybody properly until I learnt to read. <laughs> like, I was really quiet, but now I make up for it. Yeah. And was that, 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 that other, in, the interest in, in arts, was that, and in theatre, in, in singing, in, was that needed for you to come out of your shell? Or? No, I think that you, I naturally think like that, like I think in pictures. When you read my lyrics on the page, they're very visual, like, so I think I'm inclined, I was drawn to that because that's the way I think. I think about images all the time. Like, sometimes I'm just laying there and I have, like, a video going on in my head. Hmm. Is that also the reason why you dress up uh, with all those expressive clothes? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, there, uh, a lot of uh, female uh, singers at the moment are dressing up very extravagant, uh, uh, Lady Gaga, Katy Perry. Why is it that uh, female singers at the moment are tend to dress up so much like that? I think that female singers have always dressed up. Yeah, but not, not always in the way they do now. Well, in the 80s they did. Cindy yeah, Lauper. Glam, in the glam, glam period. Annie Lennox always wore theatrical stuff. I don't think there's any such thing as a new idea. I think it's really weird that everyone's always saying this is this phase and this is this phase. But I think we've always done all everything. So. Yeah, but why do, do you feel so attracted uh, to it yourself? Do you, do you, because you say I, you're, you're, I have you're like pictures and but I have a thea I come from a theatre background and I see performance as like something I switch on and switch off, and part of that is the costume. Um, and I like to reinvent myself. I feel like a bit of a Cindy Sherman sort of character. Do you know the artist? No, I don't know. She like dresses herself up and takes photographs of herself as different characters. I like the idea of like being transient and not being one person. I like to be multiple.